This week on Lemons Car Spotting. Hey, it is Eric. It is Nick. Welcome to the leaner, faster, more stronger -er Lemons Car Spotting. Let's get right into it. And it is a Mini Cooper art car. That looks like it's maybe pennies stuck all over it with super glue and painted before you do that, I guess. Probably only adds like 9,000 pounds of gross weight to it. So uh, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, probably wouldn't recommend you do this to a lemons car in the interest of not sending pennies through somebody's radiator. But on the street or on a lemons rally, this is a great approach. I like this. Very good. I'm sure it's got rhinestone airbag cover. <laughs> yeah. <That's right. laughs> right Next up, we got a micro bus. Oh, man. You know, I, I don't want to offend anybody with the micro bus because it's such an iconic, beloved vehicle. But when it comes down to it, it's just kind of a bad car. We've seen one, I think, in a lemons race, and uh, it didn't do good. And they eventually put a Toyota Tacoma motor in the back, and uh, that was pretty cool. But uh, probably better suited to a rally than a lemons race. Yep, uh, moving on. Oh, man, our buddy Sajeev in Houston spotted a flower car. Uh, these are, of course, uh, like a conversion of Cadillacs meant to carry, you know, all the flowers for a funeral. This one seems to be having a second life, a, uh, a resurrection, as it were, as a truck doing work truck stuff. Uh, I mean, I guess once the uh, funeral home is done with it, uh, you may as well. I don't know what else you'd do with it uh, other than put a cage in it and bring it to lemons. <laughs> well, we have a little well-known uh, North Star uh, loophole uh, where North Star cars get put in Class C. So uh, next up, oh, Boy, it's a cross tour, the much maligned cross tour. Now, it's amazing to me, and I've mentioned this before, that the American buying public demands everything to be an SUV. And yet there are a couple of cars where they tried to do that and people hated it. The cross tour is one. <laughs> the Murano cross cab is another. People are describing the brand new Acura Integra uh, in, in not complimentary terms as looking like a cross tour, which this one being lowered and kind of souped up, can't say that there isn't a similarity. Uh, but uh, I don't hate the cross tour. Uh, you could definitely bring one to a lemons race. Um, and I don't know, be comfortable. Still got a big old butt. Um, ooh, look at this. This is the crown chero. I, I, people have done this. This is like a thing that happens. Now, this one seems like it has had the exact same kind of flower car treatment, you know, <laughs> with the uh, the bed rails and the I don't know, fake rubberized coating on the top. And that's definitely a Ford Ranger bed. Uh, kind of well done, I guess. Uh, as sure. far as such things go, they made a quarter window between the B and the C pillar. So uh, I don't know. Kind of dig this. This is kind of great. It's not bad. And Ranchero badges for uh, the final touch. Yeah. All right. Oh, boy. It's an Astra. Uh, Saturn Astra here and Vauxhall Astra overseas. Um you know, part of the greater GM global orbit. Not a bad little car. Uh, you know, the, uh, we've said many times that GM is the G GM of Europe is the GM of Europe. <laughs> and um, what that means is when they bring a perfectly sensible small hatchback from their European market over here, it's still not as good as a Mazda 3 or a Honda Civic. Yeah. So I don't think it's sold very well but if you're gonna have a saturn don't forget that this is one yeah uh boy i mean we're gonna segue right into the hooptiest and the best part of your job as the guy directing this nick is you don't have to go anywhere because even the world's nicest saturn astra is evidence at the very end of the brand that Saturn had completely lost their way somewhere along the way and just started importing all the badge engineered crap they could uh, after about 2002. And this is the, the epitome of it. And also the, I don't know, it was, as you point out, it's perfectly fine at being a car. It is bad at being a Saturn. 
<laughs> or, or vice versa. Or Something vice versa. Something like that. Some yeah. combination. Uh, <laughs> Lemons build of the week. The car we want to actually see on a Lemons racetrack is going to be the Crown Chero. It was either going to be this or the Cadillac. The problem with the Cadillac was that it was a little bit too pr- professionally done right this one has the nice panel gap and transitions to the <laughs> ford ranger tailgate it's got a toolbox which i would recommend leaving in there for that extra effect crown vic we've noted repeatedly is a great first timer lemons car you can find them anywhere they're cheap parts are cheap they're reliable not horribly slow and plus this might even have some weight reduction so that's the lemons build of the week yeah, it's a fi- fine, fine car, and many people already have these. So if you already have one of these, make the conversion and bring it to Lemons. That's going to do it for this week. We will see you guys next Thursday. Keep tagging your stuff. Hashtag Lemons Car Spotting. Car that can carry its own tires is a real bonus in Lemons, I got to say. Yeah, you're winning the storage wars with this. <laughs>